one of our teachers. She's going to Montana and she's going to uh, you know, give you a testimonial of her story. This okay, okay, you just do it, you just pass, you just pass the rest of it, and then I did it. After one week, uh, trades and professions replied, and then they, they asked me to pass the things that I need to submit, and I complied very, very fast. I complied, I passed everything, and then uh, another reply told me that we need to set you up for an interview that's with Miss Julieta. I cannot sleep for two days while waiting for the interview because this is my first time to apply abroad with a Skype interview, things like that. I have never been through things like that. But I worked already in Vietnam, in Indonesia, in Qatar, in Brunei as a teacher, as an English teacher. And finally, I met Miss Julieta. And then we did the interview and then she told me, okay, we can bring you to the United States. Oh my God. Then, but we didn't know it because I just do the jumping thing after we're done with the interview. <laughs> and then uh, she told me that I need to prepare the professional fee. I don't know if it's the same price as we're having now. But that thing made me really cry. Where did I get the money? I am just, uh, I have just been widow for almost two years. I have two sons that I'm sending to school. And this is big money for me. We are in a village. But I have a sister who's working in LA. She told me, let me check on the on the agency. Check, 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 check. Oh, okay, you go, I'll give you the money. And then my sister gave me the amount and I paid by uh, China savings. And then I, we set for another interview. This time, personally, in one of the agencies in Manila, where I met again Miss uh, Julieta in person. And then I did the interview with her. And then I was like, I'm always nervous all the time because I really wanted to get the job. I really wanted to apply. I want to go to the United States of America because that's the dream of their dad. And he told me, it's a, a, someone else's dream that I want to do. All right, and, though, and then I did a payment and then it's like, what happened? And then after that, I cannot do anything after that, that point. After you pay, all you can do is hope Pray and trust the agency that you have chosen because there are a lot. I'm telling you, if you're going to search over the net, you have you can find a lot of agencies that promise that promise you to bring you to the United States of America. I chose to trust Trades and Profession, and I'm telling you, I have uh, chosen the best. So since then, Miss Julieta kept on. Um, uh, telling us, I mean, communicating with us via email, via Skype, and then she told me that we're going to leave by August last year. But then things happen for a reason, you know, things happen for a reason. And then she told me, oh, you're going to leave to the United States this August, but we just wait. So, but I didn't lose hope because once I put my trust to the company, I have given my full trust to them. So I just, I told myself, okay, if it will be August next year, then I'll just work first. I'll, I'll, I'll continue to harness my talent, I'll continue to harness my teaching abilities, I develop myself. They have sent us, like, they sent us um, lessons, essay thing, activity thing, writing thing, and a lot of things to do. And we pass. We submit everything. I did everything that she wanted me to do, she asked me to do. After that, we set the interview, uh, only to find out that only one, one teacher is needed in that school in Shelby. And so I, I, I guess I also, I continued doing the interview as she instructed me to do. Finally, for my final interview with the district superintendent, with Mr. Kam, okay, before the, the interview, I need to talk to you. So we talked. And she gave me all the coaching things. But I had things to do one by one, enumerated in my email. These are the things that you need to do. And I followed everything. And finally, I did the interview with the district superintendent, with the head teacher, with the principal, with the other SPED teachers, and with the representatives from board of from the parents, I think. Yeah. I didn't expect that. Though Mr. Crum told me that I will be interviewing you in front of other people. But 
he did tell me that it's like a lot of other people. <laughs> so I was like nervous again. I'm always nervous. So I, I mean for myself, it's okay. If it's not meant for me, if it, it's not meant for you, then it will never be. That night I prayed. Oh, uh, that particular moment in that second interview with Mr. Trump, I told myself, congratulations to the other girl. There will be better opportunities for me. I shouldn't lose hope. There's traits in profession. And that girl who was accepted is also from the same company that I am in. So it's in a way we're just like sister. We're sisters. So how can you be sad if your sister got accepted for the job and not you? So you just hope there'll be another opportunity for 